Uh, and I also asked the question because uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about our heparin trial that we're running uh, around the world, but out of Canada here, about heparin anticoagulation and septic shock, because the, 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 the French are giving heparin, apparently, that's what they're writing me in an email, routinely now, up front, if you have any experience or observation of early deaths due to thrombosis, suggestion that heparins are all beneficial, we had the similar impression on, on anticoagulation and uh, co coagulopathy. Uh, we have observed that a, a large quantity of uh, patients uh, have experienced a clinical scenario of DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation, coagulopathy, uh, a, very, a very obvious physical sign uh, was the extremity gangrenes or, or black spots. Uh, when the people uh, and also from our coagulation test, we'll, you will find very high PT, APTT, as well as D dimer. I would believe that's a very important indicator for a poor prognosis uh, in such patients. Uh, we have emphasized a lot on early coagulation, especially when you suspect the patient is having a DIC. Uh, but uh, well, unfortunately, those patients may have improvement on on uh, coagulation tests. Uh, you may have a uh, uh, decreased uh, D-dimer after coagulation. However, they suffer a lot from uh, from uh, heparin-related bleeding, uh, deep deep ones, and uh, and and on the surface area. And also, uh, if the patient have gangrene, uh, have gangrene, I mean the the toes or the fingers are get black, they, they are hardly surviving. Uh, that's our observation. Yeah. Okay.